Do we only dream when we sleep? Do you have a dream? Do you understand your dream? This is why I would like to introduce to you Why Dream by Minister Salo. Yeah, so if you are joining us, um, just share and then invite your friends, okay? Uh, we've already prayed. If, if, if you missed that session, we've already prayed. And so we are going straight into um, the introduction, which, uh, well, if you are here for the first time, my name is Salom. And that's, that's all I can say about myself for now. Uh, you get to know more in the future. And the title of the book is um, Why Dream? Right, so that's the title of the book. Like I said, if you know the title of the book, I've just said it. So, the, the, so anyone who didn't type before me saying it, you cannot get a surprise, right? So, but if you typed it before um, I said the, the, the title, that's good, I can, I can surprise you. But then there'll be something else that I would ask, so uh, let's get ready. So like I said, invite friends, invite family, invite colleagues, invite enemies. If you have enemies, you have a lot, and you have a lot of enemies, uh, try and invite them, okay? All right, good, so um, what is my inspiration for this book, all right? So uh, first of all, uh, the thing that inspired me, or the person that inspired me to write this book is the Holy Spirit, all right? Because without him, uh, we cannot do anything. We understand that um, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So I was led to write this uh, book in particular. Of course, I, I consulted a lot of people to make sure that whatever I put there is consumable and is, is, is in order. So I contacted a lot of people in writing this book, but it was inspired by the Holy Spirit. Uh, number two, so in as much as it was inspired by the Holy Spirit, um, I realized that it aligns with um, an issue or a problem in the body of Christ, which has got to do with dreams. Now, this book is going to talk about um, dreams that you have, ambitions that you have. So not just um, what you see when you sleep. If you've seen the... The, the flies that have gone before this um, live stream, um, there was a quote that says that dreams are not what we see when we sleep, but they are the things that keep us from sleeping. So this book is going to, it's going to work like, more like a two-edged sword. It's going to cut it on different sides. It's going to talk about your dreams, like your ambitions, your goals, the things you want to do, the things you want to achieve, and then what you see when you sleep, because that's also another way God communicates um, our, our, our ambitions to us, all right? So it's going to do that. And so as much as it was inspired by the Holy Spirit, what I realized is that it's going to deal with a lot of problems because now there are a lot of people who do not understand why they have dreams, what dreams are about, uh, where are dreams coming from, what's the purpose of their dreams. And so uh, I've had a lot of people ask, okay, maybe I had a dream or I have a dream. I didn't understand. What does it mean? What should I do about the dream? All right. So this book is also going to empower us and equip us in that dimension. So number one was I was inspired by the Holy Spirit. Number two is that um, it's going to deal with an issue in the body of Christ or in, in humanity that uh, people do not really understand. And so this is to bring that information. All right. And number three. I would say it's because I love God and I love the things of God. And it is my way of um, contribution to whatever um, needs to be done. All right. So, yeah. Um, I want to do the things of God. It is my, it's my heartbeat. It's my desire to do the things of God. So, um, number three, I would say that one of the inspirations is because I, I want to see myself doing things for God. So you might be watching me, you are listening to me, get that, um, that inspiration, that passion to do things for God. Is that okay? So if you have something you want to do for God, this should just be an encouragement to you that you can do it and then you should do it. Whatever vision or dream or ambition you have, get to it, do it. God loves those who are into his business, okay? And then we know that once you take care of the things of God, God also takes care of your things. And so do it. If you want to start a business, I would encourage you to do it. If you want to start a ministry, I would encourage you to do it. If you want to start um, 
anything, just um, do it. Is that okay? So um, use me as an inspiration. Use me as um, something to stand on and then do that thing that has been on your heart, that thing you've been dreaming about. Do it. So that's the third reason why um, I wrote this book. All right. So um, why dream? Why dream? I'll, I'll, take, I'll try and take um, a few questions at the end of um, the stream. So now, why dream and why this book? I, I, I've been saying that this book is not necessarily a religious book. Okay, so if you, are, if you are listening to me, it's not necessarily a religious book. Now, this book is a human book, in, in quotes. I would want to put it that way because every human being dreams and every human being has a dream. All right? So it's not like maybe this book is only for um, Christians or Muslims or Hindus or whatever. Okay, it's not, it's, it's for anybody who has a dream and then anyone that dreams. And so this book is for, it's for everyone. Uh, do we have, um, I, can, I can barely hear you say. So it means I have to shout. Okay. All right. Uh, so if if you didn't hear me, I was I was speaking about the uh, the inspiration. What inspired me to write the book? What inspired me to write the book? I said number one, the Holy Spirit. Number two, uh, it aligns with an issue, a problem that is in the body of Christ that this book can really solve and then um, correct. Mm -hmm. And then number three, because of uh, the love I have for the things of God, that's why I wrote this book. Then, I, uh, then I'm, I'm talking about um, the book, um, Why Dream, and then why everyone needs this book. The reason why you need the book is because as, as, as a human being, as a man or as a woman, you have a dream, and when you sleep, you, you dream. I've, I've had issues of people saying that, as for me, I, I don't dream, all right? And in this book, I am tackling this issue of those who are saying, I don't dream. I'm going to teach them how... Uh, that thing can be corrected and how that thing can be solved. So if you are that kind of a person, then you also need this book. So that's why this book is out there to help us. Um, so now we are going to look at, uh, I've introduced myself already. So if you are now joining, uh, maybe you would have to watch it again. Yes, I'll be happy if you watch it again so that you can, you can remind yourself of the things that I've spoken about. All right. And so why is it important um, to have dreams and um, know about dreams? Okay, you might be asking, why is it important that I should have a dream? And then why is it important that I should know about dreams? It is important. And so when you read a book, you will get to know everything. But I'll tell you a few things. Right, okay. All right, so uh, if you are watching, you have friends, you have family, you have loved ones, you have colleagues. They also need to have this book. And so you have to buy a copy for your friends, your family, your enemies. Maybe you've not bought a gift for anyone before. This is an opportunity to buy a gift for someone. So buy it. So your friends and your enemies and your family, they all need the book. Um, now I'm going to talk about a third kind of people that need it. Okay. Now maybe you are the kind of person that people come to you and tell you, oh, I had a dream and this and that and that. And then you realize that even you yourself, you are confused about what the person is saying. You do not have the right information or the right knowledge to explain that person's dream. You need this book, okay? So if you are someone, you get maybe your kid brother or your kid uh, sister or some family member or some friend or some colleague telling you, I had a dream and this and that and that, and you couldn't help the person, you need this book. So you need this book and then the person that is saying that also <laughs> needs the book. So that is it. It means that a lot of people are going to buy the book and a lot of people are going to be blessed by the book. All right. So I asked the question why it's important um, that we have dreams and we have the book. All right. Um, so like I've said, it, it's, this book deals with an apathy in the body of Christ. And then we've realized that this apathy has um, created a, a system or that's created this thing that uh, people have been taking advantage of because they didn't have enough information about their dreams, they didn't have enough information about uh, what they, they want to do or, or stuff like that. So this, this book is going to address that apathy in the system. Let's say you want to buy it online. Um, 
there's there's a link that will be shared um or those who are watching and have the 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 link can would we'll, we'll put it in the in the comment section so you can go to that section and then get a book so there are two types you can get the ebook that's on amazon kindle all right and then you buy it and then it comes on your phone or your tablet or whatever you are using to download the book then there's the paperback version that is the hard copy which is like this but it's, some, it's going to be something like this and it's about um a hundred and it's about 127 pages okay so that's it um the book if you've not seen the book this is how it says uh, about 127 pages and then there's a back cover and then there's a front cover right so if you go to amazon um and then you type white dream you get the book so you just have to be careful you could either buy the soft copy which is the ebook or you could buy the hard copy which is the paperback so make sure you know what you are doing but if you want to buy just the soft copy the link will be there and then it will be explained that this is the, the link for the soft copy and then the link for the hard copy will also be put in the um, comment section so that if you want to get the hard copy then it will be sent to you um, already people have bought um, the, the book from Amazon so it's something that is there you can go there and then you can buy it so once you buy it it comes straight on your phone and then you can start reading all right i don't know if there are any questions there if there are questions if, let me see if there are any questions if there are questions i'll try and answer someone says audio is off I can't hear anything. Interesting sound, please. <laughs> All right, good one, bro. Zambia is here. All right, so Zambia, thank you. Thank you, Zambia. <laughs> uh, I, I hope the sound is better now because a lot of people are saying, uh, but I hope you can hear me. If not, um, there's, I'm going to um, put the, I don't know, uh, there's, a, there's a recorded version that is going on currently, so... Um, it will be worked on, it will be edited, and then you have that one uh, on the page. So if you want to watch it again, um, it will come on the page. So just just uh, stay tuned and then bear with us, bear with me, pardon me, and then it will come. So I can see a lot of likes and uh, love, and that I'm, I'm really grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's, it, I wouldn't call it an, it wasn't an easy journey, all right? So as I said, whatever you want to do, just um, use this as an insp inspiration and then get to it, do it. And then God will bless. He says that He will bless the works of our hands. And so once you are doing something, once you are working, you you'll be blessed by it. Um, Vincent says, "Good one, there, bro." All right, Vincent, Charlie, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And then Ransford, hey, Charlie, officer, officer, thank you so much uh, for for joining me. And then Tony, precious. Um, CEO, that is Samuel Afakbeji. Charlie, thank you for for joining. Witness Paul is watching. Witness Paul, powerful Paul. Thank you for joining in. Um, so all the sons and daughters, thank you. Um, I want to thank <coughs> my family for supporting, my friends for supporting, uh, the sons and daughters. Um, I want to thank you for supporting. Um, Apostle Kelvin, I want to thank you for supporting. All my friends in the ministry, I want to thank you for supporting. So that's it. Let me see. What inspired you? Who is that? <laughs> what inspired you? Yeah, so uh, that's uh, my cousin in the USA. He's asking what inspired you. So I spoke about um, three things. The first one that inspired me is the Holy Spirit. Because um, there's a way the Holy Spirit communicates to you and then he, he speaks to you, he teaches you what to do. So the, the Holy Spirit has, has asked me to write a book on this issue. And then he is the main inspiration why I'm doing it. Because he tells you to do something and as a, as a son, as a child of God, you have to obey. So I was inspired by the Holy Spirit to write it. Number two, there is an issue in humanity that a lot of people don't understand what dreams are, where they are coming from, why they are having their dreams. Why this dream seems scary, why this one seems good, why this dream was long, why this dream was short, 
why this dream came in the morning why did i dream even in the afternoon some people think maybe the dream should be only in the evening all right i spoke about um having um like abraham having dreams of the night or visions of the night so what are the uh, the difference between vision of the night dreams what are the difference between visions and dreams uh, trans and so this book will give you clarity and it is a, a tool that will solve the issue of apathy in the body of christ all right and you realize that i said that um People have been taken advantage of. We understand that maybe because a dream of a dream they had or something they they encountered, and so they they didn't have enough information or enough knowledge about the issue of their dreams, and they went to someone who took advantage of them. Now this book is supposed to be a tool that would empower you. If you have this book, it answers almost every question. I don't I don't want to say that I know everything about dreams. No. But it answers almost everything that you need to know. So this book actually solves that issue. Then the third thing that inspired me is my love to do the things of God, my, my love to work in the vineyard. And so I have a, if you if you know me, I have a very strong passion to do the things of God. I have a, a very strong passion to um, work for God. So this is also my quota or my contribution to um, the kingdom of God. All right. And so maybe your contribution is maybe singing. Maybe your contribution is starting a business that can help people all over the world. Maybe your contribution is starting a social media move. Your contribution is maybe starting a ministry. So this is my contribution, my quota to the things of God. That If I can write a book that can inform people, that can give them knowledge, that can empower them, make them understand that their dreams are dreams that can be fulfilled, and teaching them the steps in which they should take to fulfill their dreams, that is what um, also drive me to write this book. So about the inspiration, that's it. Someone said that, do you know Minister Salom used to be a very good footballer for a team in Medina? <laughs> Charlie, some of you guys, you don't have to do that. All right, so yes, um, like, well, if, if you are going up in Ghana, you know that definitely four corners and those things, there definitely you play some, all right? Especially if you own the football, then you are there. The CEO for the day. If you if you are tired, everybody has to be tired. So yes, I had a childhood where I used to play football. I I played for a, a few teams. I cannot really recollect their names, but yes, there was one in Medina, there was one in Legon, and then and then that's it. So, um, how did you overcome challenges, if any, during the process of writing and finally publishing? Charlie, the challenges there there were a lot. Number one, you have to battle the issue of. Um, whether you really heard God, okay, so that is the first challenge. Now that you know that you have heard God and then uh, you want to write the book, uh, you have overcome the first challenge. Now, the fear that you have to also deal with is, will people accept the book? Uh, are, you, are you good enough? Are you worthy enough to write a book? Do you think you know enough to write a book? That is also another challenge. But the thing is that once God has told you to write the book, you don't have to be good enough to write the book. Okay, and then once he commands you to write the book, he will begin to give you everything you need to know to write the book. Of course, you have to do diligence and then study about what God is asking you to do, and then do proper research. And so you have to overcome that fear with number one, the confidence and the love of God that He has asked you to do it, and so you do it. You know the apostles were not perfect people. Peter wasn't a perfect person. Paul wasn't a perfect person. But once God has said that, do this for me, they went and did it. And God gave them the grace to accomplish whatever they had. So that was one of the challenges. And then, of course, there are financial challenges. Like, you need to raise money to print the book. You need to raise money to design the book and all these kind of things. All right? And register the book and all those things. So that's also another challenge. But if you prepare adequately, uh, you'll be able to do it. And then when God gives the vision, he also gives the provision. Okay, so there's nothing that is too hard for you. Once God tells you that you can do it, just pursue that vision that he has given you. So that's, those are some of the challenges that I had. And writing a book takes time. So sometimes you have to lose your sleep. You have to forgo certain things and then go and sit down and write the book. All right, so those are some of the challenges that I had. Um, let me see if I have any other questions. Um, Minister Brian. Minister Brian is a music minister here in China. So... Um, if you want um, a music minister who is who is gifted, who is anointed, um, you can um, look for him on Facebook. So, Minister Brian, thank you for your comment. He says, "A great work 
of the Holy Ghost at hand. God bless you for obeying. Yes, so the obedience was key. Uh, Seram Ahiabo Green. Charlie, that's, that's a, a powerful guy. Um, he's a he's a half caste. So those those of you who want to know where half caste is, go and look for Seram. <laughs> yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank um, you. Someone said God's command overrules all challenges. Yes. So Seram uh, Ahiabo says God's command overrules all challenges, and that's that's true. God's command overrules all challenges. If He tells you to build Him an ark. Forget about the people saying it is not going to rain. <laughs> that is human beings, yeah. If God tells you that, go and build an ark. Forget about the people who are saying that it's not going to rain. All right, just do it. If he tells you that, start a business. Forget about the people that say oh, people don't need this product. Just, just go ahead and do it. You, you. So I have to say that you face challenges. Whatever you do, you face challenges in life. Whatever you do, you face challenges. But if you, if you stick to what God has asked you to do and you obey, you follow through. Um, God will help you through it. So that's it on the challenges. Thank you so much. I can see Gideon is watching. Um, Kwabi Ama Ohenewa is watching. Uh, Nick Andrew is watching. Um, Emanuela Eunice Kangwa is watching. So um, it's, it's, I'm trying to mention the, the names of the people I'm seeing here, okay, but. If, if I can't see your name or something, just forgive me. All right. Thank you so much. Mm, that's true, sir. God overrules. Mm, cameraman, get your copy. <laughs> somebody, somebody say, cameraman, get your copy. Okay, so uh, we get a copy. Please, can someone just uh, put in the, the link for the description in the comment section? Okay. I'll be I'll be so grateful. Uh, this is awesome. God bless you, Daddy. I can't wait to get my copy. Yeah, so it's actually coming out from twelve midnight. So you can those who are in China. If you're in China, you can pay now and then it will be delivered to you at your doorstep. Yes. Yeah, so just pay um, or text me and then um, I'll let you know how you can pay and then uh, to be delivered to you tomorrow so tomorrow it's coming out wherever you are in china it's coming out if you're in ghana those who are in ghana and um, nigeria have already started buying the book so um i would also teach you how you can buy it if you don't know how to buy it how to buy it on on amazon so those who are in ghana and africa already have um, um access to the book and are reading it and it's blessing people already so thank you so much i want to take a few more questions Someone said seven chapters. Someone said ten chapters. Twelve chapters. Hi. <laughs> okay, so the first person was precious. Precious, he said seven chapters. Uh, he said twelve. So I don't know. Yeah, someone said ten chapters. Witness Paul. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Let's let's wait for more. Another person said seven chapters. I see. Seven chapters. All right, that's nice. <laughs> God will always bring the lamb for the sacrifice from uh, Patricia Grace Gumachi. And that's my mom, so uh, you can say hello to her. Uh, seven chapters, 12 chapters. Precious, you are really off. You are really off. That's, so people like you, you need the book. Because you are, you are so off that you need a book. All right, so get it. Or you can, those who have my, my, my contact, you can just text me. So I'm rounding up. I'm almost done. If you are coming, I think you can watch it um, again and then leave your comments and whatever it is that you need. All right. How many minutes have I done? I've done 31 minutes. So that's it. Um, thank you all for joining me. It was amazing. And I can't wait to hear um, the testimonies that will come from reading the book. All right. God bless you all. We're going to pray and and just thank God for. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, so we're going to pray and and then round up for today. So, like I've said, um, this is the hard copy. Uh, we, are, we are hoping that everybody gets the hard copy. One of our books is that you need the hard copy and put it on your shelf or something. You need so that you can hold it. You can always go back to it. If you put it on your phone and your phone gets spot. You know, there's, there's trouble. So get a hard copy. I really want you to get a hard copy. So text me and then let me help you get the hard copy. Okay, so let's pray. 
let's pray. Wherever you are, you want to pray with me, you want to tell God, whatever you want uh, God to do concerning this book, whatever is your heart desire, you can type it there, whatever you want God to use the book to do, just type it there and then pray with me. Okay, shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, 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 we thank you. We say, Ebenezer, this is how far you've brought us. We bless your name, we bless your name, we bless your name, we bless your name, we bless your name. It is the doing of the Lord. This is the doing of the Lord. This is the doing of the Lord. This is your doing, O God. It is a blessing to humanity. It is a blessing to men and to women. And so we give you the praise, O God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. So thank you for joining us. That will be it. Um, you will hear from me again. There will be one more Facebook Live where we will really go into the book. All right. So that's just a little gift I have for you. There will be one more Live and then we will go into the book and then look at a few things. So thank you all so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.